all right what is up everyone so i made a video a while ago on trying to fix my motherboard um i tried a couple ways on how to fix it um after the video i tried it a couple more times and still motherboard does not work so i'm gonna do a, a final attempt on cleaning the motherboard now what I'm going to do is not, you know, practical, I think, um, but I have fixed a motherboard doing this. Um, I don't know if it was for me doing it or something uh, fixed it, but well, like before the mother a motherboard didn't work, I did this, uh, this fix, uh, it, it started working. So now it's going to sound weird, but basically... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shower this entire motherboard with alcohol and brush it down. That's what I did to a motherboard before and it surprisingly it worked. I don't know if it was because I was brushing something and it brushed something off or the alcohol cleaned something off. I'm not sure, I'm just gonna attempt this. So the mar like I said, the motherboard doesn't work. So at this point, it's useless to me. I just have it or laying around. Um, so I'm going to try this final attempt to try to fix it. I have tried everything. RAM, new CPU, uh, reset the BIOS, disconnected everything. Uh, and I still get a single VGA red light no matter what I do. I plug it into the HDMI port on the motherboard, no display. I connect a graphics card, no display. It's basically just the fan keeps running, but nothing really happens. No display, no nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and try this fix. And and I'm going to show you guys how I do it right now. I'm going to remove all these um, guards here. These aluminum metal heat sinks. And I'm going to show you how pretty much I would do it or I do it. Like I said, it's not practical. Like... You know, I don't recommend you do this at home, but I'm just going to try this and hopefully I get some results. But, hey, you know, just, te just testing something on something that doesn't work. This is my last resort that I have to test to hopefully bring back this board a lot back to life. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and remove these and then I'll be back. All right. So I have removed all the heat sinks. Now I'm going to go ahead and pretty much do what I did with the other motherboard um, like I said this board does not work so I could not damage it anymore and even if I did I already bought a replacement um, and this would just be something I have laying around I can probably use it as decoration or something sell it for parts I don't know I bought, bought this brand new from Newegg so um, I don't even know if it has warranty or not I bought it from from eBay, I bought it, it was a new egg through eBay, I guess. So, I don't know how that works. But basically, I have my alcohol right here. I'm just gonna bait, I'm just gonna drop alcohol everywhere and brush it off. That's basically what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna see if it works. If you have not seen my other video where I attempt to fix the problem, um, the board doesn't work, so. I'm going to just go ahead and try this right now immediately. Alright, so I'm just going to brush. My dog is drinking water. Right now, so. He's very, very loud. I'm just going to brush everywhere, clean everywhere. Hopefully, something happens. Look at this. Is that triggering? I'm brushing the pins. <coughs> you know, just brushing, brushing away. Hopefully, hopefully this, you know, fixes it. I'm not, it's no guarantee it's going to do anything. Um, I'm going to make sure it's completely dry before I turn this baby on. I don't know why it stopped working. I literally, what I did, like I, 
my computer was off and I needed to get the GPU and put it on my sister's computer because her GPU stopped working so I put my the GPU that I had on this computer on her computer and then I went I went ahead and turned it on and nothing happened so I don't know if it needs the <laughs> the GPU that I took off from this for it to work actually I may try that um, that's actually something I should have tried but I don't know why it would be a problem you know uh, the GPU that was here was a 1080 Ti removed it put it on my computer uh, my sister's computer and then that's when I got uh, this uh, red LED on the GPU light whatever the thing is called um, a, a light indicator uh, so maybe that's a problem. I'm not sure. Like I said, this looks weird. I, I've tried this one time because I saw it on a video and it actually worked for the motherboard that I did it on. I don't even know if it was the liquid, the alcohol when I put it on there. But, you know, we're going to find out. This is kind of a weird, you know, weird thing to do. Definitely would not recommend this on a board that's working. But this board isn't working, so I really don't care. Just brushing off. I'm gonna flip it over to the other side. Great, there's already liquid here. Cut that off. Maybe there's something shorting out. I don't know. Clean the the ports and all that good stuff. All right, well, that's as much as I want to do. Hopefully, I don't faint from all this alcohol. I'm already, I'm already feeling it. I'm already feeling it. I can, I can feel myself fainting right now. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and dry this off, and I'm going to hook it up. And we're going to find out if this does anything. Like I said, the board already doesn't work again. So don't hate on me. Don't, don't, you know, don't hate. Uh... The board is broken. I'm just trying to see if this uh, fix works, you know. And we'll, we'll find out. So I'll be right back. All right. Now I have finished drying the motherboard off. It is plugged in. It's the next day. I let it dry all night. And now I'm finally going to turn it on and see if it works. Um, so the board did not work previously, so, you know, doing this attempt, you know, wouldn't damage it anymore at this point. It's a lost cause for me. I, like I said, I already bought a new board, so I wasn't really worried, um, for this to get damaged uh, anymore. So, yeah, let's go ahead and power it on and see if this works. It's uh, it's going to be very interesting to see if this works. So I have everything plugged in that needs to be plugged in just for this to work. I have an HDMI connected to my monitor. I got the CPU power, the motherboard power, one stick of RAM, just so that brand new. So I know that it works. The CPU in there, like I said, it works. It was on my computer. I just swapped them to see if it was maybe the CPU that was causing this not to load. So yeah, we're gonna find out right now if this works. I will be very, very surprised if this works. Like I said, I have tried this with another motherboard. I did the same exact thing. Just wash it all down with alcohol, clean it and everything. Let it dry completely. And somehow it worked. I don't know, you know, how it made it work or fixed anything. I just know that it fixed it and uh, it just worked. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see if uh, we get lucky. You know, let's see if uh, this board is fixed or not. Like I said, I already bought a new one. So this is basically just me attempting to fix this um, um, anyways let's go ahead and power it on I plugged in 
my little power button here. So we're gonna power it on. Now oh, let me turn on the power switch and see if this works. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, oh shit, let's go. BIOS has been reset, please reconfigure your BIOS setup and items if needed. Oh my God, bro, there's no freaking way. I was literally gonna throw this board away. Well, I wasn't planning on throwing it away, but I was like gonna use it as a decoration piece, just put it there. I, I gave up on this board, it was just, it didn't work. I made a video about this um trying to fix it i tried everything and it didn't work but and then i was then i was thinking maybe i should do you know the alcohol thing and i was like i'll just record it maybe if it works people can try it but you know and it works there you go let me connect my keyboard and see if we can get any more further than this damn bro i'm actually very 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 happy i'm, I'm right now I just got another, I just bought a board from eBay, a used one, for like $80, and now this one works. Damn, now I'm going to have two boards, I can return the other one, but, damn, look at this, I should have tried this before I bought the motherboard, but look at, it works, I mean, let me see, uh, press enter, see if that works, yep, there you go. Z690 Gaming X DDR4. Nothing too crazy that I can see happening. Oh my god, bro. I have not. I have not seen the BIOS for this motherboard in a while. It works. I'm. I. I. I'm. I don't know why the, the alcohol worked. I don't know. I can't explain that to you guys. I'm sorry. My guess is probably something was making contact with something else and me cleaning it off and all drawing it off maybe fixed it but this is crazy. I I mean if you have a board that well in my in my situation um right there you see those lights right there? The VGA light was on constant before this. It was just on like it made no sense because I basically I had it like this. How it was, I just had it like this. HDMI, CPU power, motherboard power, and it just kept uh, and it just stayed in VGA f forever. So I don't know what I did or how I fixed it. I mean, I did the alcohol thing, but I don't know how that fixed it. I'm I'm sorry, I don't know how to explain that. But like I said, maybe it you know clean something in there i don't know where it just i don't know it's crazy i um i just woke up an hour ago and i was really wanting to try this <clears throat> and that's crazy wow that's insane like i i'm i'm actually shocked that this worked um yeah so I mean, if you guys want to try this, you have a board that has VGA stuck or it turns on, but there's no boot. Try this if you want. If it's like your last resort, you can try this. Maybe it fixes it, but, but you know, I'm not recommending it to you, but if you, if you got, it's up to you, like you decide. Um, but this is crazy. I'm, I'm still in shock, uh, that this works. Like I was literally upset that this stopped working on me because nothing really happened like i said in the beginning all i did before like all i did after before this stopped working was i removed the gpu and installed it on my sister's computer and then i came back and turned it on and it just said uh it just stayed at uh vga um uh, the, the led indicator over here and it wouldn't boot nothing and it was like that for the longest time i tried resetting the bios in my previous video uh attempting to fix this i removed the battery hold the power button for like 10 20 seconds to re to cycle the power 
I don't get rid of all the power in the capacitors. I tried pretty much everything you can think of online. You know, RAM. You know, install the GPU. Maybe the, the HDMI on the board didn't work. I tried uh, some methods that, you know, Google was recommending. And that didn't fix it. And this fixed it. So from now on, I will be trying this with pretty much any electronic that I have at the la if for my last resort. You know, if I have a GPU, I'll do that. Um, but yeah, this is insane right here. Um, now, this went into BIOS. I don't know if there's any other problems to it, but you know, right now I'm just so happy that this is on, you know, and running. It's insane. Like I said, I just woke up. It is what is it? Six six, six o'clock in the morning. I just I was just just wanting to test this, and it works. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna put this back together. I have all the heat sinks off. I'm gonna install this. Make it look nice. It's already pretty much clean because I put alcohol everywhere, so it's clean. And yeah, like I do, I can't really explain to you what what I fixed, like where the area that that I fixed. But I just like you saw, like I just like you saw previously. I just threw alcohol everywhere and brushed it. I just brushed it, and that that apparently worked. So and you saw me. I was brushing the pins. So I don't know that that didn't damage him. I guess. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, I don't recommend you do this. But if you do want to do it, go ahead. You know, it's up to you. It's your motherboard. It's your, your product. Um, yeah, I will, I will go ahead and, you know, I don't know what to say anymore. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Bye.